Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to automate your Axe FX, or maybe even your Kemper or your Helix, pretty much anything that has MIDI capability. Um, this way you don't have to use any foot pedals live and it's just a lot more fun and easier to have a good time while you're playing live without having to worry about jumping around, pressing pedals and stuff like that. So what I have here is a project file that I use live for my band Galaxia. And we have a song right here, it's called Skyborg. And I have up here, pan to the left, I have everything I want to send to front of house, which would be synths, uh, any sort of backing tracks, ambience. Um, and over here to the right, I have everything that's going to our drummer. And I have it titled Zach, because that's his name. And it has also a built-in cowbell you can hear right here. Cyborg. With my countdown. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. As you can hear, up here is uh, all the synths. And right here is all the drums. But you get the point. And then right here is all the MIDI that it's going to switch my guitar sounds. And so what you need to do is have a MIDI file that is the entire length of the song, or at least entire length up until the last change. And for some reason, since I switched this project file from my Mac to my PC. It says PC where all these little marks should be, but anyways, yours will just look like a little mark whenever you make this. But So you need to make this, open it up, and any part of the grid that you uh, have a guitar change, you need to make a little mark right here. And whatever patch number, at least for the Axe FX, is, um, for example, this particular part is Axe FX uh, patch number 10, you just type in that number. Uh, the next part looks like it's number 11. That's my lead sound. And here I'll just show you an example real quick that it actually changes whenever you press the space bar. Cyborg. Eight. So here's what that patch sounds like. And then once I press the space bar past this marking. Once you press the space bar past it, excuse me, you'll have this sound which is my lead sound, and so on and so on. So you just do that with every single change you want um, throughout the song, and this is all to a grid. As you can see, this tempo is 205. And what you need to do on this channel is go to your inputs and outputs and go up to the MIDI hardware output, and you need to select your output of your device, which in my case is a Focusrite Sapphire Pro 14. And I am going from the MIDI out of my... Um, interface into my XFX MIDI in, if that makes sense. Uh, I'll put a little graph up. The most important part of this entire thing, in my opinion, is that you have regions. Reaper has this thing called regions. And what you can do is put your project in this region, which is by highlighting it whoop, and hitting Shift R, and you'll create a region. And uh, what you need to do within your tracks is make the region uh, the tempo of your song. You need to right click these, hit item properties. This is very important. You need to go to item time base, hit time. You need to do that with each one of these. Mine's already done it, but we need, you need to hit apply after you do it or okay. And you need to go to this as on the MIDI as well for the time base, it needs to be time. And what you can do with that is you can move the playlist around of the songs. So that way you don't have to play the same order of the songs. You can move them around if you want this song here, if you want it over here. If you want a different song like this, somewhere over here, blah, 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 you get the point. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you very much.